evidence reveals Antarctica was a swampy rainforest full of dinosaurs 90 million years ago. A new study paints a picture of a very different prehistoric Antarctica, one that was warmer and teeming with life. Jake Anderson of Mindalif reports, Antarctica has always tantalized researchers and scientists with its mysterious ice-covered lands. A newly published study about the climate of the mid-Cretaceous period is adding studying new questions to the mix as researchers claim to have discovered evidence of a 90 million year old temperate rainforest that once existed in the southern polar region. The study paints a picture of a very different prehistoric Antarctica, one that was much warmer and teeming with life. An international team of geoscience researchers acquired their evidence while aboard the research icebreaker RV Polar Stern in the Ambundan Sea near the Pine Island Glacier. Their drill rig descended to ocean depths of 3,300 feet and then penetrated through a 90 foot beneath, uh, to 90 feet beneath the seafloor to extract a perfectly preserved sample of forest soil with a sediment core composed of fine-grained silt and clay. And in their paper recently published in Nature magazine, the scientists wrote this, a sedimentary sequence of recovered from uh, West Antarctica shelf, the southernmost Cretaceous record reported so far, and show that a temperate lowland rainforest environment existed at the paleo latitude of about 82 degrees south during the Turonian Santonian age that was 92 to 83 million years ago. A CT scan of the dark brownish gray soil revealed densely packed fossil roots, pollen, and spores of at least 65 types of vegetation, including conifers, ferns, and flowering plants. No animal fossils were recovered, but the soil was dated to about 90 million years ago, which was the golden age of the dinosaurs. With average annual temperatures of about 55 to 53 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 12 to 13 Celsius, and up to 68 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. During the warmest summer months, scientists say this region, 560 miles from the South Pole, would have been a swampy rainforest full of dinosaurs, flying uh, petrosaurs, and, in, in, and insects. They said the preservation of this 90 million year old forest is exceptional, but even more surprising is the world it reveals. This is what studies co-author Professor Tina van der Fleert said from the Department of Earth Science and Engineering at Imperial College London. Even during months of darkness, swampy temperate rainforests were able to grow close to the South Pole, revealing an even warmer climate than we expected. The region would have been like an entirely different world from the frigid glacier-encrusted South Pole we see today. Despite the region experiencing an annual four-month polar night, marine geologist Johann Klages of the Alfred Wegener Institute Helmholtz Center for Polar and Marine Research in Germany says the estimated temperatures would be analogous to modern-day New York City. Other scientists compared the temperatures to those found in New Zealand. The annual mean air temperature was only two degrees warmer than contemporary Germany. River and swamp water would have reached up to 20 degrees Celsius, and annual rainfall volume was equal to contemporary Wales. The study also has ramifications for climate research, as the work suggests, suggests much higher atmospheric carbon dioxide levels than previous climate models showed for the mid-Cretaceous period. In addition to the stunning revelation of dense vegetation and flourishing life in prehistoric Antarctica, the research provides a new window into how climate conditions and CO2 levels dramatically shape life on Earth. This is by Jake Anderson on Mindalishan's Creative Commons. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial 
subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.